Hi, Mark Zubek here, 40-year bearing expert with Rexnord. Today, we're going to discuss the proper selection of bearing seals. You know, about 70 to 80% of bearings fail for a couple of reasons. One, installation type related issues or lubrication contamination. Mounting styles can generally affect your installation. Seals, on the other hand, affect your lubrication and contamination. You know, if a bearing fails, you might have to remove the coupling, you might have to take the gearbox off, you might have damaged your shaft, maybe you gotta remove the belting. All of that stuff relates to what? Cost. If your cost is high, your productivity is low. So the proper selection of bearings, namely bearing seals in this case, can increase your uptime, increase your reliability, and reduce your overall cost. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about your proper select, your seal selection. There's basically four types of seals. Number one, we got clearance seals. Number two, we got light contact seals. Number three, we've got heavy contact seals. And then four, we've got auxiliary type seals. Let's start out with the clearance seal. As the name implies, clearance seal. What that means is there's clearance between the sealing surface and the seal itself. Since there's clearance, contamination can get by the seal. But this seal is also made completely of metal. Since it's made of metal and there's clearance, there's generally no speed limitation and there's no temperature limitation. So for those high speed, high temp, general purpose, lightly, very lightly contaminated environments, perhaps the clearance seal is your, clear, your, your seal of choice. Next up would be light contact or our Rexnord light contact seals. These are made of steel with a rubber lip. The rubber lip is generally made of buna and rubber. And as the name implies on this one is too, it's light contact. But since it's light contact, it can still run pretty fast. So for those high vibration applications where I need some contamination prevention or even fairly high speed application where I need a little extra protection that I can get from the clearance seal, you might want to jump up to the Rexnord light contact seal. When the contamination starts to get really bad, I mean moisture, heavy rock, heavy sand, lots of contamination falling on the bearing, you're going to want to jump up to the heavy contact seals. And basically, Rexnord has two types of heavy contact seals, spring-loaded lip and multiple lip. Now, the spring-loaded lip is constructed of steel and rubber. Now, when the, when the contamination has got any moisture and dry contamination mixed, or it's sitting outside, we're sitting in the rain, I like to use the spring-loaded lip seal. The spring, heavy contact on the sealing surface, the outside of the seal is constructed of rubber, Therefore, being pressed into the housing, I get a seal up against the housing as well. So for moisture, combined with other types of contamination, I'm going to go with the spring-loaded lip. If I've got dry contamination, you know, just strictly dry, powdery, you know, dry environment, I'm going to go to the multiple lip. Could be, a, in our case, the Rexnord seal is a triple lip. So there's three lips contacting the seal surface. What happens with those triple lips, they kind of act like, you know, I got one barrier, two barrier, three barrier, and each in between those lips, it allows for contamination to kind of build up in there. And that's what I'm going to use for those dry applications. So I'm going to use multi-lip for that. For those severely caked environments, high pressure wash downs, tremendous amount of contamination, where the standard seal, whether it's clearance, whether it's light contact, whether it's heavy contact, might not be enough you may have to jump up to what we call auxiliary seals. Auxiliary seals, they're actually mounted to the bearing itself. So we've got cast iron caps, the Rexnord cast iron caps attached to the bearing to protect the primary bearing seal. So when we look at this cutaway here, I've got a grease cavity, I've got an external V-ring protecting it, I've got a labyrinth, I've got a gasket, almost like a five-part sealing system all protecting the primary bearing seal. The more I protect the primary bearing seal, the longer my bearing life. The more uptime, the more reliability, the lower cost for you. So those are your seal options. In quick review, clearance seal, high speed, high temperature, general purpose applications, light contact, moderate, moderate speed, moderate contamination. 
heavy contact seals, heavy contamination, whether it's moisture or whether it's a dry. You got spring loaded and you got multi lip. For those extreme environments where I need extreme protection, I'm going to go auxiliary caps. Those are your choices. So, choosing your correct seal, you're going to get a tremendous amount of uptime, a tremendous amount of reliability, which in turn is going to reduce your cost. And reducing cost is the name of the game today. Always remember though, when choosing a seal, make sure you check the engineering specs to make sure the temperature is good for that seal and make sure that the speed is good for that seal. Thank you and have a great day.